Welcome to the Reddit Chronicles. Today we are reading from True Off My Chest. Our first post is from No Possibility. My sister is neglecting her children and I don't know what to do. My 19F sister, 27F, has three boys, 11M, 8M, and 5M. She's almost three years free from an abusive marriage to my ex-brother-in-law. He did a plethora of things to her during their six-year relationship, such as hit my oldest nephew in the face when he was only three, cheated the entire time, he was emotionally manipulative, and even tried to solicit me when I was 16 years old. After her divorce, she spiraled. I ended up moving in with her to help care for my nephews. About five months after leaving him, she met my new brother-in-law, H, 38M. H has been divorced twice and has three kids of his own who live with their mother multiple states away. He seemed very fun-loving at first, he was pretty wealthy, and took her on trips to places she's never been to before, and it was nice to see her get to have fun again after such an awful relationship. However, it very quickly came at the expense of my nephews. While I was living with her and she began seeing him, I was watching my nephews 24-7. The youngest would frequently sob in front of her door at night due to nightmares and other toddler-related problems you have at 2 a.m. However, when H was there, my sister absolutely would not answer the door. He started coming to me every single night and sleeping there. My eldest nephew is very reserved and has some anger issues. After the divorce, she would frequently blame him for many things his brothers did or accuse him of being the one that would make the youngest cry. There were a lot of mornings my sister would scream at him before he went to school for things he didn't do. He even once told me that every time he gets yelled at, it makes him feel like he doesn't want to be alive anymore. My middle nephew is even still to this day very affected by his parents' divorce. He constantly compares the two and often praises his dad for doing things better than my sister to her face. They moved in together about five months into dating and got married about a month after her divorce was finalized. I now live on my own. My youngest nephew is the reason for me making this post. He has started to have seizures about a year ago and is bow-legged. I am also fairly certain he has autism. He is about to start kindergarten and can barely speak coherent sentences and is just now learning how to use the potty. He also has a lot of sensory issues and a very different approach to teaching himself new things. My sister does not give my youngest nephew his seizure medication consistently, and my mother who babysits now has told me recently he had a grand mall in the presence of H, and he didn't take him to the hospital during or after, nor did he give him his emergency medication. My youngest nephew's bedroom is a constant safety hazard and honestly looks like a bomb went off in it. When I go get them sometimes, he will trip over everything due to his bow-leggedness. My sister has also not taken my nephew to see his specialists for neither his seizures nor his leg in a very long time. He has long since grown out of his brace. I personally have to buy them shoes that actually fit their feet from time to time, and my nephews have no sense of personal hygiene. When they are with me, I have to convince them to change their underwear. My sister will take any and all excuse to have my mom and I babysit, or will frequently drop them off with their fathers long before it is time for them to go with them. This past Mother's Day she dropped them off the Thursday day before and H took her out of town to celebrate it. My eldest nephew is also beginning to notice this pattern of behavior from his mother and is exhibiting a lot of disdain towards my sister. He is thankfully very protective of his brothers in all of this, but there is only so much an 11-year-old boy can do. My point of this all is, I am not sure what action to take or if I even should. She will not reason with anyone telling her this self-discovery journey is self-destructive and bad for her children. If I were to say anything, I fear she would not let me see my nephews at all, and I've practically been helping her raise them since each were born. I'm afraid if that happens, the only person in their lives that would genuinely care for them and has that window into their lives would be my mother, who all things considered is not the maternal type. And before anyone asks, my ex-brother-in-law is not much better. I am more afraid of my youngest nephew getting brain damage or even worse due to her neglect or my elder nephews developing some serious attachment detachment issues or other mental health problems at her hands. 
My only defense I have for my sister is that she did not have a father figure in her life, and my mother did a similar thing to us that she is doing to her own children now when we were younger. H also has zero custody of his children and lives a very exuberant lifestyle without them. And I think my sister envies that, and H encourages her to do so. I fully believe H is manipulating her in more discreet ways than my ex-brother-in-law had, and she is too love-blind to see it. The best case scenario at this rate is that my nephews hold a lot of resentment toward her later in life. I apologize for my rambling, but if anyone has any advice in this situation, it would be greatly appreciated. I am young but I love my nephews so very much, and I am so conflicted as to how to deal with this situation. Thank you for listening. Next up, posted by Strawberry Shortcake. I was just cleared of being AM on my birthday. Hello, I just really need someone to talk to. I have no friends to share this. I am typing this out the day after my birthday when all this went down. For some context, I, 18F, was accused four years ago of SA to my four-year-old cousin who I cared about deeply. She was like my child. I took care of her a lot and was alone with her because I was someone to be trusted, which I regret now looking back. Maybe if I kept my space, this wouldn't have happened. But anyways, four years ago when I was 14, after I had been outed by my cousins as bisexual, in late October of 2019 a month later, my aunt barged into my room and made a whole scene saying if I wasn't her niece, she would have killed me, that I should just tell them I was mentally ill so I can get help. Now realizing it, many family members hinted to this somewhat happening, saying a big bomb was gonna blow, and that I should confess, or else, which, I didn't do anything so I had no idea. For months I would be interviewed, my mental health declining, my relationship with family members ruined, even my own mom doubted me, at times I was at an all-time low, the only one who believed me was my dad, grandma and brother. My grandma had actually talked to my cousin where my cousin confessed, she just said whatever mommy said, and was there when my aunt would lie to social workers and just try to lie to anyone who would listen. I was only truly cleared yesterday, because when the case had closed six months after the allegations, it was due to too many inconsistencies from my aunt and social worker. But I wasn't cleared fully, people still didn't trust me with their kids, she told the whole church and I wasn't allowed back there. I think that's one of the reasons I'm an atheist now. I had no friends because one of my cousins decided to post it on the internet. I got bullied even worse to the point where I had to leave school. Well now to the present time, after four years of mental torture, I was cleared, and you may ask how. My cousin told my grandma about the abuse she was receiving from my uncle, yes her own father, but I'm not surprised I've always tried to warn people about him. My whole family has been apologizing even my cousin, though it's not her fault she was only a toddler who was doing what her mom told her. Her mom used me as a cover-up because her disgusting and twisted self would rather pick her husband over her kids. Thank you for reading this. I don't know what is going to happen moving forward, but I needed to get this off my chest. Edit. Hello this is just an edit to say thank you for all the birthday wishes and clearing up the whole suing part that I already did in the comments in case some didn't see. I don't know if I will sue due to my PTSD from this situation and police and legal team. I will think about it though, for my cousin and her siblings they will be taken out of her custody, especially when my grandma tells her caseworker about what went down yesterday. She already had DCF on her for other reasons. I live with my grandma for the time being, so I will be living with them, and as much as I love them, I'm not looking forward to it, because of everything, but I will move out with my friend from cello practice, I can't wait to, he's one of my best friends, and I couldn't ask for more, thank you so much for the support, it's really lifted my spirits. Thank you for listening to the Reddit Chronicles, follow for more content.